Hi everyone, I'm Marsha and this is Short Circuits. The end of a workout is the perfect time to focus on flexibility and relaxation. So today I have a short cool down and there will be some yoga-like poses. Just do your best and remember just stretch to the point of tension, not to the point of pain. We're going to start on our backs, hugging our knees into our chest and slow the breathing down. Release the feet to the floor and hug your left knee into your chest. Now extend that leg all the way up, walking your hands up the back of the leg. And release your opposite leg all the way out on the floor. See if you can pull that leg in just a little bit more for a deep hamstring stretch. Relax your upper body. Release that leg and lower the arms at shoulder height down to the floor, palms up, and then let that leg fall all the way over to the floor, scooching yourself onto your hip and bringing your hands together. You should, you should be right on your side. Bend your bottom leg and reach for your foot and pull that knee back for a deep quad stretch, squeezing your glute to get a little bit more into your hip flexor. Release the foot, roll yourself back onto your back knees are bent and you're going to take that left leg and just cross it on top of the right knee turning the knee out you're going to reach for the thigh and see if you can open up that knee a little bit more with the elbow you should feel this in your outer thigh and your glute keep deepening the breath And then we're going to lower the foot to the floor. I'm going to take the arms out to shoulder height once more with palms up. And you're going to let that foot fall all the way down to the floor. Relax your shoulders. Shoulders should be glued to the floor. And you're going to feel this stretch a little bit more in your outer thigh. Try to take all the tension out of your hips and your thighs. Bring your legs back to center, uncross and hug your knees into your chest. Lowering the feet to the floor, knees bent, you're going to take your right knee and hug it into your chest. Extend that leg up, walking your hands up as far as you can, could be behind your knee, could be behind your ankle, whatever feels good for you and then release the opposite leg all the way out onto the floor and see if you can deepen that stretch a little bit more, bringing that leg a little bit closer to the chest. Release the leg and take your arms out to the side at shoulder height. Let that leg fall all the way over to the floor scooch onto your hips and bring your hands together bending the bottom leg you're going to reach for your foot and pull it back into a nice deep quad stretch here that should feel pretty good i have really tight quads 
pretty flexible hamstrings but tight quads so this is what I really need to work on what do you need to work on and release roll onto your back and you're going to take that right foot cross it on the left knee and pull the thigh towards your chest you're opening up that knee stretching through the glute You're gonna lower the foot to the floor, open up the arms to the side, and just let that foot come all the way down to the floor if you can. Remember to try to keep your shoulders glued to the floor and try to release all that tension through the hips and the legs here. From here, we're going to uncross those legs, hug both knees into your chest, take a nice deep breath in, and on the exhale, you're going to rock yourself up. And you're going to turn over onto your hands and your knees, and you're going to take your right hand now, and you're going to thread it through the space between your hand and your knee. Bring your shoulder all the way down to the floor and the side of your head if you can. Release the opposite hand up towards the ceiling reach it up and then if you can bring it all the way around and see if you can pinch your inner thigh remember you're just coming to where feels good for you this is an upper back stretch also a shoulder stretch you should be comfortably uncomfortable release Come on back up and we're going to switch sides, thread all the way down, reach the opposite hand up and take that hand all the way around and see if you can reach your inner thigh. And release come on up and we're gonna take those heels together knees apart and we're gonna sit back into child's pose reach those hands out bring your forehead all the way down to the floor and lengthen out through the spine the neck and the shoulders From here, we're going to come back up to the hands and the knees and you're going to bring your legs so they're parallel to each other and you're going to press your hands down into the floor, curl your toes under and lift up into down dog, pressing your hips back, heels towards the floor, chest towards the floor, draw your belly in, you should feel a nice deep stretch down the back of your legs down through your calves and into your Achilles. From here, you're gonna reach your right foot up towards the ceiling, and you're gonna draw your knee in towards your chest and turn it out, and we're gonna come into a modified pigeon pose, so it doesn't have to be a full pigeon pose. Take your hands forward, and make sure you're flexing your foot to protect your knee. And you're just doing the best you can here, stretching. This muscle here is called the IT band. It's a really susceptible uh, muscle in terms of injury. And if you're a runner, you're probably, you've probably got pretty tight IT band. So this is a great stretch. So you wanna just breathe into it, relax and think about increasing that stretch 
increasing the flexibility on the IT band, opening up. And then we're going to come back up onto the knees, curl your toes under, come down into down dog again, press the heels towards the floor, draw your belly in, and this time you're going to take your left foot up towards the ceiling, draw your knee into your chest, flex that foot, and come down again into modified pigeon pose. Walk your hands forward. And breathe into it, deepen that stretch. You want to lengthen the neck and pull the shoulders away from the ears. Nice. So that's it guys, a nice short cool down. Should take you about five minutes. And uh, remember, I'm gonna be posting two workouts every week from now on. If you like the workout, make sure you click that like button, share it on Facebook, spread the word, and don't forget to subscribe because you don't wanna miss anything. I'm gonna try to post at least one TRX suspension training workout next week. And until next time, take care of you and I'll see you in my gym.